Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna be here with my friend Brayden. And uh, by the way, Brayden, are you good back there? What? So you said that was safe, right? Uh, you sure you good back there? You don't uh, look so good. But what? Was the safe again? Yeah, you know what? Yeah, it doesn't look so safe. Uh, guys, guys, stop, stop staring at me. All right, come out. Come out. Alright. Anyways, the yes. point of what we were talking about. Um, today we're going to be starting a series where we teach you guys, yes you guys, you right there, sitting in your little bed, about Education Edition. So if you don't know, Bedrock has a feature called Education Edition where you get like elements of the periodic table and you can make like a bunch of cool stuff with it. So yeah, you ready to begin, Brayden? Alright. Yeah. Alright, let's begin. Alright, so... Follow me, Ray. Alright, so this is what you guys are going to be making in this video. I know this is gonna start being boring, but I promise you, if you watch the entire series, it'll end up well. So the first thing we're gonna make, aluminum oxide, then ammonia, barium sulfate, benzene, boron trioxide, calcium bromide, charcoal, and crude oil. So what you're gonna need, so I just recommend getting a stack of each of these materials, even though you don't need a stack, I just recommend getting it. So, you're going to need a stack of nitrogen, a stack of barium, a stack of aluminum, a stack of bromine, a stack of calcium, a stack of boron, a stack of carbon, and a stack of hydrogen. That's probably the easiest way to do it. If you want to go down to exact specifics, let's see, Brayden, you got the stuff? Let's see. Yep. Nice. All right. Let's begin. Brayden. Brayden. You ready? I'm ready. Let's go do. Let's go do this. Okay. Alright. So you guys are gonna need a compound creator for this video. For other videos, you might need a lab table or a crafting table. For a table. Or like you know, an element creator if you're in survival. I pointed at the wrong yeah. one. <laughs> I'm stupid. Um. So the first thing we're making is aluminum oxide and. The main thing you're going to need is two aluminum, and by main thing, I mean the only thing, is three oxygen. And you're going to get this thing called aluminum oxide. It looks brown. It looks like diarrhea almost. And, yeah. So, alone, it does nothing, but, like, if you, like, combine it with other things, uh, it works. It'll, like, work in different ways. Next thing we're making is ammonia, which is one nitrogen and three hydrogen. That will get you ammonia. I think that's how you pronounce it. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry, but I'm pretty sure it's ammonia. And what this does, it's used for other things, but kind of looks like, what would you say this looks like, Brayden? Like a saw in a jar, doused in water. Yeah, like a. Uh, well, you the said water yes. Picked up the silver tin. Haha. Ha. All right. Let's go. Barium sulfate. That's what I'm making next. So you want to get? Oh, I thought I forgot my barium for a sec. Um, so you want to get one barium, and. We get yeah. one sulfur and four oxygen. Oh, not five, four. The amounts you put are very specific. You can't put a stack, it will do that. And you will get barium sulfate. Again, this does nothing alone, but when you combine it with other things and other chemicals, it will do something. Like, I don't remember exactly everything, but I probably will, like, the second I stop recording, I bet you. Alright, so the next thing we're gonna make is benzene, which you guys might know. Not even gonna say. Just, you're gonna need six carbon and six hydrogen. And it, it almost looks like, it, like, 
it almost looks like a urine sample of a doctor. Like, you can't tell me that doesn't look like a urine sample. Use some of this stuff for, like, role-playing. That would be kind of cool. Anyways, like, next thing I'm apple making... Juice stuff. Huh, apple juice. Uh, so the next thing I'm making is boron trioxide, which is similar to the aluminum oxide, but instead of using two aluminum and three oxygen, you're using two boron and three oxygen. Now, in creative mode, you can get like stacks by shift clicking or pressing Y or pressing triangle or whatever you're on. Just pressing that button that would usually just click everything. But in survival, I don't think you can do that. Anyways, boron trioxide. Boom. Now, this can be combined with the aluminum oxide, which was also another reason why I referenced it. And it will make. Oh, what's it called? It will make hardened glass, but I will show you that in another video. So the next thing we're making is calcium bromide, which is pretty simple. We put one calcium and two bromide, and that will get you calcium bromide. Now you're going to notice a lot of these uh, compounds, they use like the same texture, maybe a little bit different color for that aluminum oxide, but they use that same little bottle, bottle, bottle with white in it. Gray. Oh, yeah. A lot of Minecraft education of things do that. Uh, so the next thing we're going to be making is charcoal. Not like, like actual charcoal. Like the same thing. So I would go here and search up charcoal. It would get me this. So what you're going to need to do seven carbon for the start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then you're going to need four hydrogen, one, two, three, four, and a single oxygen. Oh wait, I put nitrogen. And a single oxygen. And this will get you charcoal. And this is plain old charcoal. You can get a furnace and use it to smell ores or food. It will work. And the last thing we're making, uh, I don't think I need to tell you guys, but this reminds me. But last thing we're making is crude oil, which is probably the one that uses the most resources here. So it's nine carbon, not exactly like in that shape, but like, you know, it's nine carbon. So we're just going to go in there. I'm being too complicated in the window. And 20 hydrogen. paying me for this job so anyways i will see you guys in the next no i'm kidding um but seriously i will see you guys in the next video peace out have a good you day did not answer my question no i'm not answering your question peace out guys have a nice day